Hyde and Hopkins playing a blues classic, Baby Please Don't Go. One of my absolute favorite guitarists, Lightning Hopkins. He's not a guitar wizard like Steve Vai by any means, but try to play what he's doing. It's incredibly difficult and there is so much feel. The strange thing is, he has his guitar, which sounds like it's in F sharp, but he's not using a capo. So in order to sound like Lightning Hopkins, I've got the capo at the second fret. And he's using a thumb pick, just like Chad Atkins, and he has that bass that keeps going, and that's so difficult to do. Huh? And he just keeps going, plays the most beautiful melodies, while that thumb pick is thumping on. Now, that's quite difficult to do, so we're gonna do a simplified version, just with a regular pick. Let's start at the beginning, let's see what he does. Now baby, please don't go. Now baby, please don't go. Now baby, please don't go back to New Orleans. You know I love you so, baby, please. So he plays three licks. Number one, baby, please don't go. Or he plays, he sings it a bit lower. Baby, please don't go. Second, it's almost the same as the first one except the last note. And then the last one, take a look at this index finger here tilting on the D and G string. So important to tilt the index finger back and forth. Why? Because we need a good legato. So the first part sounds like... Probably one of the best blues riffs ever invented, right? Let's continue on. Here he plays something that is very familiar. It sounds like the John Lee hooker boogie. If you wanna play that, start simple. First, the basic notes. It's easy enough. Then see if you can add one upstrum just before the third fret. That already gives it much more groove. And then finally, instead of just doing the one note, see if you can add an E chord and an A chord. Then we get... Easy peasy. The good thing about the blues is, this is the entire song. It just keeps playing the same thing over and over again. If you know one round, then you just continue to play round after round after round. Now, let's start on the A7. Now that's difficult enough, right? And can you imagine what Lightning Hopkins is doing, he's adding that A string and the B string bass as well. If you can do it, go ahead. It's not easy. <laughs> Especially with a regular pick, it's very difficult. So you might want to skip that and just play the plain lick and chords. B7. <laughs> And there you go, that's it, that's all you need to do. Now let's play it together. You can find the backing tracks and taps on my Patreon site if you wanna practice this yourself. Grab your guitar, here we go. Mm -hmm. 